I believe that Jerry Jones is one of the best owners in the history of all sports. But what he doing to Dak, I understand it. But, bruh, you pay Demarcus Lawrence, Jalen Smith, Ezekiel Elliott, and Amari Cooper before you played Dak? I don't know about that. But I'm going to tell y'all why in this video why he should have played Zach before he paid these guys. It's your boy TD and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is, should the Dallas Cowboys pay Dakota Prescott? Yes, I said it. Should the Dallas Cowboys play Dak Prescott? So, let me break it down why I believe, I'm not saying it's set in stone like they, they I believe it, that they should have paid Dak because of who they already paid and they not producing. I am a big Dallas Cowboys fan. I love my Dallas Cowboys. I would have more Cowboy stuff up here, but I don't want to bore y'all with all my Cowboy Exponanza stuff. You know what I'm saying? I love the Cowboys. So let me break down why they should have played Dak Prescott. So let's start off with Demarcus Lawrence. So Demarcus, you making $48 million a year. And we, since you got this contract, you haven't had 10 sacks. So you making $48 million guaranteed and they paid you quick. They paid you. They didn't, they didn't rash you or none of that. What they doing with that paid you quick. And you had some problems coming out of college. You know, you had some things they needed to work on. And I'm not knocking you for that, bro. We all evolved from somewhere, right? But you got $48 million before the quarterback got paid. You tell me one franchise that have paid a DN that's not Reggie White. That's not Aaron Donald, you know, or Lawrence Taylor. Somebody that's tremendously all a Hall of Famer in the first four years, right? Or J.J. Watt. But he's DeMarcus is a good player. I love DeMarcus. I think I want him on the team, but I'm not paying him $48 million before I pay that. that I said what I said. I'm not paying no DeMarcus Lawrence, no $48 million guarantee before I pay Dak. I'm not. So let me move on to another player that shows why I believe that we should have paid Dak. First, Jalen Smith. Now, listen, I like Notre Dame. I watch Notre Dame, uh, a lot of the college games. They have a lot of talent, and they got good uh, – Kelly is a good uh, coach. They paid Jalen Smith $35.4 million guaranteed. This before Dak got his money. So, Jalen, the first year you don't even get on the field. That's understandable, bro. We took you later in the, you know, we took you like in the late second round. We knew that your knee, you had a, a bad knee injury. We knew what type of player and how explosive you was. We good with that. But, bro, you, even with you backing, you back like 97% of yourself or 95% of yourself, I'm not paying you before I play Dak. Now, I'm not knocking these guys. I'm knocking Jerry. I love Jerry, but I'm knocking Jerry did you, I know these deals are easier to make, but bro, you, if you didn't want Dak, then you should have been trying to trade Dak. I said what I said, because Dak trade value is high. You could have got two first rounds for Dak, but you want to keep him there and play hardball, and we might not get nothing out of this deal. So I'm just not playing my middle linebacker that's coming off a knee injury that may he may not or may not been able to come off this knee injury, but thank God he did. And pay him $35 million when I got a, a quarterback that started from a rookie that took us to uh, um, to the playoffs, a number one seed in the NFC. We, we, he only loses three games his first year. Duels with Aaron, Ro Aaron Rodgers. I almost beat Aaron Rodgers on a comeback. Like, I'm just not paying. I'm not making that deal. I'm just like, hold on. I got to make this deal with my quarterback, and then I'm going to get with you. Because I'm a, I'm a, after the money is left over, what, what I deal with that, then I'm going to start dividing it up between the rest of the guys. Or, like I said, trade that and move on and get you something else. Because, you, I mean, we, he been here, for like, like this should have happened before he got franchised. They should have been like, look, that we're not going to pay you that type of money. So, before we do it, we're going to trade you, bro, bro. And then, and everybody, no, that wouldn't have liked it, but everybody would have been okay with it. Like, okay, that at least they've been up front with you. They ain't playing games, whatever. But, to sit there and try to give Dak 
32 million dollars no i'm not taking no 32 you got to give me market value bro that's why jared golf yeah he got the money he might have been a bad deal but you got to give him that you can't give him say look well, i'm gonna give you 28 and everybody else is getting 35 no that got to get what it's so if you would have made the deal years ago like went like you did like his third year in the league you could have got him for about 32 million dollars 31 million dollars 28 million dollars but you waited to want to sh wanted him to show you what he had so now that he's showing you now it's like, well, he's overpriced. No, bro, that's the going rate for a quarterback. Yes, he's not Pat Mahomes. He's not um, Russell Wilson. But God, he's right up under them. So they making money. So it, it, it doesn't, your talent, you don't get paid off talent. You get paid where, when it's your time to get paid, what does the market say you need to get paid? They not, they not they don't pay quarterback. Like, if that was the case, they would pay Tom Brady $80 million a year, right? But, no, even though like Tom has got some nice paydays, even though he takes pay cuts for the for the greater good of the team, but he never was going to get money that, more money than the other quarterbacks that were lesser than him because their Tom was coming after Tom. So if Tom signs for twenty five million, the next quarterback like a Kirk Cousins can get thirty, and that's just the way it goes. So they made a mistake. So let me move on, guys. I got some other players that I want to compare contracts with. So Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott, I love Zeke. Uh, I thought Zeke was a great, a great. I think he's a great running back. I really do. But he's a running back. He's a running back. You, so this guy got fifty million dollars guaranteed at the running back position. Now listen, Derrick Henry, Zeke. To me, they on the same level. I said what I said. Derrick Henry has always been a good. I mean, they didn't want to use him early. That's on them. But, bruh. Uh, Zico Ella got way more money than Derrick Henry, the Yeti, and it was a bad deal. No, we needed to pay Zeke. We needed him to get him out there on the field, but not fifty million dollars guaranteed. Not fifty million dollars guaranteed. So I, you paid him before you paid Dak. So no, why? Why? You know how Dak feel like Zeke got in. He got baggage with him, which nobody's knocking on that man, but he got baggage. Dak has no baggage. Great leader. And you playing hardball with him like he got so you pay the guys to get in trouble easy. But when it cause you can like you can lowball them a little bit, right? But when it comes to a guy that does what he's supposed to do, gets the job done as far as winning games, you know, and you know, we even put if you was if you don't bench Tony Romo if you don't believe Dak is the man. So you do that, all of that, and you still want to play hardball with this guy and pay Zicarelli that has to sit out for six, seven games, got in trouble in college. Bro, that Jerry, come on, you got to do better than that. I get it. It was a more easier deal to get done at that time, but you got to pay your quarterback first. All NFL teams does, and I know you don't have to do what everybody does, and Jerry's certainly not going to do what everybody does, but it's a blueprint. You know the quarterback is t touching the ball every play. The running back ain't touching the ball every play. So you go, the, the guy that's touching the ball every play is going to make more money, just like pitchers in the major leagues. They don't even play much as a uh, fielder does, but they're going to get those three or $400 million guaranteed because the pitcher, if you great pitcher, we're going to win that game. If they want to score a run run, we're going to win that game nine times out of 10. That's how baseball think. And if you got a, a ace, which is Dak is what would you would consider be an ace because he's a top out of 32 teams, which is 32 quarterbacks. Dak is a top 10 quarterback. Everybody knows that. Everybody said, now, is he extremely, um, Talented like Lamar Jackson and, and Pat Mahomes and stuff like that. No, he's not. But he's top 10, so you have to pay him. A top, a top 10 pitcher is getting big-time money. So I hate to go and, and, and compare different sports, but I just want to give y'all a sense of what uh, Jerry is actually doing to Dak. So, yeah, so Zeke, I think he needed to be paid, but not $50 million guaranteed. So I got one more player, guys, so be patient with me. The last player... I think he's a good player. I think he's a great one of the, a top three route runner in the NFL. And this is Amari Cooper. I love Amari. I thought that was a great deal that uh, Jerry, Jerry, that was a thumbs up for that, guys. Also, guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you love the content. Also, subscribe to this channel, guys, because I'm going to keep giving you cutting edge information. But, guys, so I, Amari Cooper, that was a great move that Jerry made in the middle of the year, a couple years back to get him when we didn't have any number one receivers after we let Daz go. But $60 million guaranteed before you gave Dak his money was another bad idea. And guys, if you don't think this was a good idea, go in and make sure you go in the comments section and tell me. So listen, Terry, no, he I, they should have never paid Dak. 
that's fine. I, I, I respect everybody's opinion. I'm not saying my opinion is better than everybody else in the world. This is my opinion. I love the Cowboys, so I'm just giving y'all my opinion on this video. Like I said, it's an opinion. So I want you to give your opinion, too. Go in the comment section and tell me what you think the Cowboys should have done or what, what they should be doing right now. Let me know, guys. So, Amari Cooper, you got $60 million guaranteed, and you not and you not even got your court. So how are you going to have a receiver like nobody, unless you like Calvin Johnson or Randy Moss, why do you pay a receiver before you pay the quarterback? Because the, in order to get that receiver the ball, you need the quarterback bag right you like i'm not you know what i'm saying that's like i don't know that's like buying a car with no motor like you have to have something to make it like the car looks beautiful it's it's a new tesla it's the greatest thing but there's no motor in it guys it's nothing so how you gonna marty coop out there getting open but you can you don't have anybody to get him the ball you think any dog gonna get him to get him the ball no any dog is not gonna be, be able to get him the ball to win a championship we're not talking about just making a first round of playoffs. We're talking about championship ball. And you, you're not going. I'm not paying a receiver until I got a quarterback that can get him the ball. So, guys, I'm not going to hold you up on this video. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button on this video. And also subscribe to this channel, guys, because I'm going to keep giving you cutting edge videos like this. Thank you. Have a blessed day.